Okay, so Aaron had a really great question. When he when 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 he's training with my when she's training with Michael, strike me here, Aaron. So number three, Michael is twisting her wrist to to hit the to the shoulder, and she's asking. Do you always twist it? Yes, and the reason why we do that is because strike me number three again. Now give me some resistance. See, with her with, with this is me not twisting. <laughs> it's all on camera. <laughs> with him, with her, no, don't, okay, resist. So with her twisting, not twisting the stick, there's a lot, and she, she, she can force me not to twist it this way. But if I turn it, it's a lot easier because now it disrupts. Mm -hmm. This is one solid, you know, like movement, but when you twist it, it's, it's a lot harder for it to you to resist. So when you strike me number three, boom, straight right through. I twist and go there and now look what's happening her hand is opening up because now she's got this now if it's just standard squeeze resist resist okay she's got a full grip but if I twist her grip is opened up it disrupts the strength the, the power flow to her to her hand and to her arm from not letting it twist forward that's why it's important strike number three twist strike number five here twist strike number seven it's hard to twist with this one, but I usually twist forward, like towards me on that one, but that's preference, right? Even when you strike number uh, uh, six to me, here, right? I still twist, right? I disrupt that flow of energy by pulling her forward and letting that wrist bend. This is one reason why I also strike me number two. Here, I twist down and I counter, because I disrupt the strength Right, the flow of energy to her hand by breaking, break, by by letting it, instead of coming this direction, it goes downward now. So here, 